Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory, the game of building and efficiency and stuff like that. <laughs> We're back at our area because we finished up over there at the coal plant. Not all four nodes yet because, like I said, uh, I gotta get the, the detonator thing, the novelisk or whatever it was. This thing. And so I set up two of the, two of the, uh, what's it called? Two of the rows of the coal generators. So the one I showed you and then I did the next one. So we have a total capacity of 1200 being made. It says 15 capacity because it's connected to that, but I don't think this is actually utilizing any of the, uh, generator. Doesn't even look like it's doing anything. So, if you want to be fancy, we could do this. And then watch this just burn down like crazy. But also, we have all this biofuel, so I'm kind of not sure if we should just utilize this. Or just hold on to the biofuel and use the biofuel for something else. I'm not sure, but we'll just do that for now. Because coal generation. And so what we're going to do to start this video off is we're going to complete this milestone because I went ahead and just grabbed the reinforced iron plates and the rods and just made them by hand because I'm not sure exactly how I want to go ahead with that. So let's go ahead and dump off everything we need and there we go. Now we can do basic steel production or steel production unlocked foundry grants access to new simple steel parts an additional project part can now be constructed progress to the next phase is now possible right that's true because all we need are the no 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 what you talking about we can get to the next phase we still gotta get this stuff done or i suppose that they're oh the mark two miners that's actually important and so that's no issue we have plenty of rotors let's check out the steel pipes steel pipe which takes the steel ingot which steel ingot takes i messed it up it takes iron ore and coal Oh, this is going to be fun. We're utilizing our coal nodes already. Well, two of them. So we're going to have to steal some coal. Actually, we're using two, but we have three miners over there, so we can utilize that extra miner until we're ready. What the? Oh, that's the thing that flew off. So we can do that, and so are we going to have to build that over there? Interesting. Very interesting. Because the other option is to path tractors to bring the coal over here. <laughs> or just run long belts all over the place, because either way, we're going to have to move something somewhere. Because coal is over there, and iron is, like, kind of all over the place, really, but. Let's do another coal. Nine twenty-two that way, but there's not really... 500 that way. We're utilizing that. These are pretty close. Yeah, we're going to have to, like, basically figure out how we're going to want to transport this stuff. So. And do we need iron uh, pipes for versatile networks? No. But we are going to need modular frames, so we are going to have to build 
a modular frame factory. I just haven't. Because I would like it to be utilized at 100%. But because it takes three... Three of the reinforced iron plates at a time. We... Do I have a miner on me somewhere? That way we could just put that on there and let that mine versus hand mining it. Uh, oh! Aha! So we need to do quite a bit of things to try to figure this out. Let's put down this hand miner. Can I... I can't put it down on here. I guess not, because it's... Okay, never mind. Doesn't work. Let's just put this in here for now. And it's in my hand, so I gotta... Get out, put that in here, put that in there. Alright, so what was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought because I'm trying to figure everything out because we kind of have layers to do. Um, I wanted to see how quickly we produce the reinforced plates. The chest was already full, so if I had an overfill chest, that would already be going. But I, I took some of it out, so it's already coming out. What does one miner make? It makes five per minute. And so... We could utilize one assembler and then 12 rods. I think we could do it with one node, if I'm not mistaken, because we need, I wish I could just f quickly favorite it, 12 rods, three plates, so we can get that per minute, <clears throat> kind of. And then three 12 rods, which we produce 15 per minute. And so I don't know if the smart splitter can utilize n numeric splitting. Or we could just let it run and didn't do an overfill. And just basically let the assembler be full. I suppose we could go with that. But we should do some research while I have stuff to do research because I do want the assembler and everything. So let's check out what we can do. I, what is this? Hatcher remains? I don't know if I've ran into a hatcher. Let's just take everything. <laughs> Excuse me. And while we're doing this, I just need a second to turn up the AC real quick. Okay, so we don't have the hatcher yet, but that's alright. We can do this because it costs five of the other things. Scannable object enemies. The rebar gun. Protein inhaler. Okay. Uh, we need 50 Caterium ore, which I don't have Caterium ore. Mycelio, we have this. Oh. What is this? Fabric, which we need. Biomass for, and we need state. Er, okay, gas novelisk. Cool. Okay, so we'll skip that. We got this, I believe, and then we have. Why does it got a tab out? I thought I had this. I don't have it. Basic. I don't think I have that either. What's this? 
Can't make that stuff yet. Power slugs. We have not found a yellow power shard yet. Or slug. Uh, quartz crystal. We do not have enough quartz. We do not have any quartz. <laughs> Those are both quartz. And sulfur. We don't have enough sulfur. So... Hey, can't do that much. Which um, which one gets the smart splitters? That's what I want more than anything. It doesn't really tell me. Surely smart splitters aren't that far away, are they? Oh boy. Okay. That's one thing I would have liked is smart splitters so we could start doing that kind of stuff, but we can't. So. Let's mine this. And while I'm picking this up, I'll go ahead and talk about some future things. Um, I don't know if you guys remember about me saying that I was trying to get a job. Pretty recent that actually went very quick. Um, a new job, and I got word back from the job, and I have tentative, tentatively got the position. I still have to clear background checks and stuff like that. But with that being said, I am going to be transitioning from getting off the road to being a local truck driver, and in doing so, I gotta move my truck, move my things home, get my things home, get my truck emptied out and turned in within the next couple weeks, and. In doing so, I'm going to have to stockpile some footage for a couple reasons. Um, how many sulfur? Maybe I have enough. Um, so I need to stockpile some footage because uh, while I'm on the truck, I can still make videos. But once I'm off the truck, uh, I won't be able to make videos. And I don't know until when because I don't have a desk, chair. Obviously, I have the equipment, but I don't have a desk and chair, nor do I have a location. I need coal for that. Okay. Looks like we gotta go to the coal factory. I need to get that and without going into my financials, I don't know when I'm gonna get that. So I don't want to get too deep into that whole discussion. So it could be a while. I have plans to even record even until I don't have it, but during the transition period until I'm making solid checks, it's gonna be a little bit different. And so I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I have no idea what my plan is right now. And so... Yeah, that's... What I'm going to probably start doing from here forward is as much footage as I can get. I'm going to get, hopefully, I don't... Uh, I don't... Boost my train of thought like I always do. Um, let's go get that miner set up and turned on so we can at least start getting coal. So hopefully I can make enough footage and videos to kind of cover over everything. I might even... Is this sulfur? I might even... Uh, what would be the word? Take my footage of an hour and split it. I don't even have plates on me. Oh, that's Katerium. The plates in here. I might take the footage and do like 30 minute episodes for the time being. I don't want to fall behind on videos. So the progress over time might be a little bit slower. But it's just something we got to work with until I get settled with the new job and be able to get a regular recording schedule going. We might even have to change the four video week format to maybe three videos a week, which will change the structure of how I do series, but I would definitely prioritize the satisfactory series first because of how uh, successful it has been. And so probably from here on forward, I'm just going to keep recording like everything. And there's going to be times that I know I'm not even going to want to commentate and talk because I'm just going to be in thought process. And so... 
I might end up doing that, where I just record and try to get some music behind it, because even when I take this computer off my desk, my truck, my desk, when I take this computer off my desk, I can still edit videos through my laptop, and so I can still get those made and take, I don't want to say take time with it, but if I wanted to do just not even like a time-lapse version, just real-time, just regular speed videos, but put music over it because I'm not talking because... Um, if you guys have never actually made videos, uh, sometimes talking for an hour can be... Uh, I don't want to say exhausting, but... Especially with me in my mind, like, I will... I lose my train of thoughts so often. And so... Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm trying to do, because I don't want to say I didn't come in here with the plan. I came in here with the plan. But I also came into this not exactly sure which plan I wanted to do, because I still need to get my copper factory going. I still need to... We need to get these things. And I... I want to make a factory for everything, but I do not want to... Oh. I've never done that before. I'll bet. And I still need to make, like, a limestone factory that's automatically just producing limestone. I want to get the bigger storage, which... I'm not sure. Why am I doing this? I was going to go back to see when I unlock the bigger storage, but it's not that big of a deal. We'll grab some more of this stuff. And yeah, so there's a lot that I know I want to do. I just don't have any idea. Look at those mountains over there. Looks like desert. And now I'm also getting into the position of where... Um... Now I'm starting to have to transport items further. Because clearly I need to get coal transporting, but I'm going to utilize these four coal, no coal nodes. So we might have to go look for a nether uh, coal deposit. For the meantime, we can utilize these two because we're not running low on power. But even the work that I said I'd probably do off camera of running my power running the rest of the power and the pumps and all that stuff <laughs> um i said i was going to do that off camera just whenever i got around to it and finishing the build but that i said that and recorded that video before i got the news of actually having the job i believe like a definitive time and I don't have a definitive start date yet but I do have other things that I have to do before it and so that's kind of what's going on in the personal section of life um but yeah there's definitely isn't this what I need there's definitely more that I there's another one and another one over here Oh. That's all that was in here? Oh god, thank you. I was worried that there'd be like spiders. Now this is a cool cave. It'd be cool if like it was a regular base building survival game. But my priority will be to try to get as much footage of this done because there is lots of hours to build things. Because if I had gotten... Had I gotten the news and an idea of when I was... Okay, let me back up. I had an idea of when... I had an idea that I did get the job. I just didn't have an official start date yet because there's still things that needed to be processed. 
gonna just take this out just because the thing was I just did not have like the start date or went tentative start date or an idea so I wasn't sure so when I sat there and built all this I didn't know so I figured oh I still got time had I known I could have taken the six hours or whatever I did to build all this to do that so I want to address a couple comments that I did see I don't think I've addressed those yet um, it was mainly about overclocking and utilizing uh, more efficiency and everything like that. Uh, the miners. Obviously, we're about to get Mark II miners. I could take those out. Oh. Take all these out and take out the overclocking. No need to worry about that in just a little bit. In terms of the water pumps, I am overclocking because it's just easier for me. And I did the math between using two overclocked water pumps per eight generators... Um, by the time I add another four and run these two, with it overclocked is equivalent to just a little over having a 13th water pump. And so instead of having 13 water pumps in here, I'll have eight. And I'm just sacrificing an extra like 24 megawatts of power or something like that. It's not that big a deal because we're already at 1200. And when I get these... 16 over here built will be at 24. And I suppose if we ever need to expand beyond that, um, if we get, if we want to, we could overclock the Mark II miners, or if we get Mark III and we need the power, we can put Mark III, bring everything back and add more this way. So there's still plenty of space we could add to this, but yeah. I'm not, I, I have no issue of what I've done so far. Yes, these are obviously consuming more power too with it being overclocked, but I wasn't bothered by it because I knew Mark II was just around the corner, which will drop, I believe it's 12 and a half to, I think 10 or something like that. I, I don't remember. I also thought it was 15, when, but I can't remember what I read on the wiki page. But we're going to utilize this one because it's not being used right now. And so we should create a storage bin right here. And then this is just going to be at 60. And so there we go. And then we'll just take this and plug it in. Oh, okay, so this utilizes 5, so that's utilizing 12, so I think it's 10 for the Mark II. You guys probably already know. The Mark II at 120 is going to be a little bit less than this overclocked. But there we go. Now we're going to utilize some extra coal production, which also will help because as this stacks up, we can also just automatically fill up those generators so when we do get ready to run it we don't have to sit here and wait for the uh the manifold to fill it up but yep i'll go ahead and show you guys just real quick that we got it we did it i did take your also advice about removing the pumps but i did notice when i took out two of them it said it's probably where i had it located to be honest but i left two of them whatever it's no big deal, but everything's running. I had to move these two pipes over because I had them running right here, but I I didn't have the whole setup yet. But yeah, that's that's it. We got this made. And then when I made this, I was like, why are these pipes looking funny? And then it took me a second to realize it's because these pipes are um uh oh are up one meter higher so it's able to but yep that's it so we'll definitely do that probably on camera as well just to get footage is completing the rest of this base in doing so but that's not the goal for now the goal for now is to get some coal because we need some coal and let me see that i have all of these already done because I had to do this before with this belt. I forgot I only put Mark 1 as placeholders. 
And it looks like... There it is. So, yep. We're all good there. Of course, I can always run the holes and everything. Like, I can finish the water and everything. It's just the... The other node over there that's blocked. But I suppose we can find another... just take those for now. I suppose we can go look and see if there's another coal deposit. Otherwise, my idea is to overclock one of the Mark II miners and then use a splitter to get off the extra coal for us. But I don't know. Let's head back up. I forgot what I even wanted this for as of right now. Um, after I get done doing this recording session, I'm going to write down everything that I want to do and I'm going to try to focus between working my hours and the time that I do have and don't have. We're going to see how much we can get. So there might even be times now that I'm just going to go quiet and just let the footage run. Some of you guys just like to put this on while you guys are busy on your games or background noise and all of that's appreciative. But for the time being, probably starting with this video that you're watching. Uh, I just looked over at the time and we're not even at 30 minutes. Videos might be down to 30 minutes. So this is just a catch up and update pretty much this first video. Which means I'm going to have to get multiple screenshots. Or what we can do is if I'm doing two satisfactory videos a week, which I have been. But I'm taking an hour now and splitting it into two instead of labeling it. Didn't know I picked this one up already? Um, episode 16, 17, or whatever it is. Because I'll be splitting them by the hour. I could do like 15 and 15 and a half. I think I already have 16 up, but... That general idea, but I also think that's redundant as well, just because... I'm not sitting here at hour, hour intervals. I'm gonna be... Recording... Whatever I do. So right now I'm just driving. I want to see what I can find on my own. Like a slug. Oh! Oh! God. What was that? There's an animal somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, we still need to... Oh, that's why. I parked on him. He's like, where'd I go? Uh, yeah, I forgot. I still need to get some some slugs anyways, because we gotta overclock the other... The other water pumps. Whoa, this... Oh! Okay. Whoa, what are you? You're like an advanced version of the other one. Oh, God. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. I can't jump over it. Oh, God. I'm gonna run you over. Run him over. Run him over. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. I thought he was dead. I think you're the thing that I need. I should have known because the place of impact is where the item drops, not where the body falls. Are you not going to die? Is this cruel? There it is. It's just more hog remains. You're just a bigger hog. I should have known based on the way that you look just like a hog. 
I thought it might have been the slasher or whatever. Whoa there. What did I find here? Water. Oh. Just out of curiosity. Can I put a water thing here? I, I can't tell because I don't have the things I need for it. I mean, I'd assume so, but I also don't want to assume so. Whoa. Oh, we found another one. I don't know if I could get this one. It's in the gas. Oh, God. Come on. Get out of the gas. That was not a good idea. Okay, so let's jump out and... Or... Let's... This looks like this is copper... I'm... I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for sulfur so we could start getting the sulfur stuff done, but I wanted to check out what's over here. Was this just a waterfall? That's waterfalling into nothing. Lovely. Okay, let's check out where sulfur's at. Five hundred fifty-eight meters that way. Actually, what I was trying to find was some coal, but I wanted to run over here. So there's some copper. There's some limestone. So and. I want to go ahead and say I, I'm... Oh, God. I'm not sure if where we're at is going to be our main base location. I guess we'll call it a base. Base of operations. Um, it's definitely, obviously, the first base location. But I know this map is... Well, I believe, based on just how much I've driven around and seen that this map is probably huge and so I don't want to call it the main place because there's probably some better places some better places some places that's going to take thousands of hours to get to because I spent 20 of them redoing shit over and over again okay sulfur went away I think it's over this way though there it is Actually, we're really close to it. I don't know if I can get to it. <sighs> Whoa. You know, one thing I would love to see, if you guys want to, is I would love to see some of your builds and factories and stuff and s screenshots and stuff like that. I know some of you may not be playing this off of Steam, and you guys might be playing it off of Epic, but if you're on Steam, I would love to see some photos of your guys' factories and locations. Nothing detailed, just what you've done and the creativity you guys have put in. Why does it go away immediately? What the... It goes away so quick. Sulfur? I don't even know how much sulfur I need. But I don't even think I have that portable miner with me. I meant to bring the portable miner with me. 
I do not have that. Fun. Where is it? Is it up here? Is it up here? Because if it's right here... Oh god! Ow. Why are you there? Why? Uh-huh. Even though you're still there. Okay, so we found it. That's a good thing. Bad thing is... I didn't bring the miner with me. Fun. Okay, well, we can at least mark this on the map to come back to it. Um... I don't know what kind of marker I'd want to use. So just, no, that's cave. Resource? No. Right there. All right. Actually, we can remove these. Or not, eh. That's the copper notes, coal notes. I guess another thing we could do in the world if we wanted to is have a bunch of items kind of just in a general location being mined and just do a very tall and spidered beltway up top so we don't have to deal with terrain. Cave. Oh, I think there's a yellow one. Oh, we found a yellow one. Nice. I believe that means what? Coal. Oh. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Whoa. We need space. What can we just drop and get... Don't need to drop anything. So we have a workbench. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen this stuff. I don't think we can scan it yet, though. We can scan quartz now. Another thing we need. That does not appear to be anywhere near us. Eh, it's not too far. But let's check out where the coal is, because I want coal more than anything right now. So there's... How do I know if I use these ones? Those ones I definitely used. Yeah, because those are close. There's another ore node 800 meters this way. 
Oh, it shows up right there. Oh, a pure node. Oh, let's head that way. I didn't realize it shows up on the map. Okay, well, let's go that way then. So let's head back down to our regular coal generator area. I can find a way to it. Which I think is this way. Alright, let's see if we can get down without falling or glitching. Or just drive around it like normal. What I should do, I'm already driving away, but run one of these power lines over to the one limestone node I am utilizing as of right now. Whoops. Guys, Jesus. Oh, there we go. We're now glitched into the wall. Great. 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 Damn it. I can glitch into it. I can't glitch out of it for some reason. Come on. Well, let's make sure we have the stuff we need. Oh, come on. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I used to be able to get out of this somehow. Oh my god. <laughs> 